welcome into another video with math and a hoodie. I've got my favorite hoodie on and I'm so excited to break down math concepts with you today. Today we're going to do part three of our telling time. So in part two, we talked about the hour hand, didn't we? We talked about which way it travels around the face of the clock and how to tell the hour, what hour it is. And we learned that the numbers on the clock go up to 12. There's only 12 hours before it starts over again. And that the hour hand lands on each of the numbers and that tells us what the hour is, okay? So I have three clocks here on the board. We're just gonna do a quick review and talk about the minute hand in this video. This video, we're gonna talk about how to tell what the minutes are, okay? And then we're gonna see if we can um, display a couple of different times on our clock. Okay, I think you guys can do it. All right, so let's get started. So we talked about a digital clock where it just shows you the numbers of what time it is and you don't have to try and figure it out. It's just really simple. This one says it's four, which is the hours, right? The number before the colon is the hours, four, and the numbers after are the minutes. So how many minutes is there on this particular time? There's 18, huh? Four, 18, that's what time it is. So the hour is four, the minutes is 18. Now, how many minutes do you, do you think are in one hour? How many minutes? Does anyone know? So there are 60 minutes in an hour, okay? Let's write that on the board because that helps sometimes if we can see it, huh? So there's 60 minutes and that equals one hour. Now, since there's 60 minutes, do you think we'd ever see a clock that said 460? It would make sense, right? If there's up to 60 minutes, couldn't there be a 60 in, in the actual analog clock? Well, it couldn't because once it reaches 60, once it's gone all the way around the clock, that's one hour. So you would see 659, right? That's the highest number of minutes you could ever have because once it hits 60, it actually turns into five o'clock, huh? So you're never gonna see a time that says 60 minutes. You're never gonna see that. You're only gonna see up to 59 minutes because once it is at 4.59 and it goes to the next minute, it turns into five o'clock, okay? Now let's say you had 5.59. What time would it be in one minute from 5.59? Would it be 5.60? No, because the next minute would take us to the next hour, right? Because we can't go higher than 59 minutes. So that would take us to six o'clock. Six is after five, so that's the next hour, okay? So once you get to 59 minutes, the next minute takes you to the new hour. So there's never gonna be more than 59 minutes in a time, okay? Whether it's on this clock or on an analog clock, uh, or a digital clock, sorry, um, it's only gonna go up to 59 minutes, okay? Now, how do we know what minutes it are at? 60 minutes is a lot. How do you guys think we can tell? We know that these numbers on here are the hour numbers. Remember, we learned that in part two. The small hand is the hour hand, and it ticks away and tells us what the hour is. Each hour, it only has to go a short distance from number to number, huh? But the minute hand has to go from minute to minute. One, two, three, four. Those are the minutes. It has to go around and touch each minute dash before it reaches a whole hour. So the minute hand travels a lot faster than the hour hand, doesn't it? Because it has to go all the way around in one hour, where the hour hand just has to go from number to number, so not as far, okay? So each one of these little dashes is a minute. Each one, 
Even the dash that tells us what the hour is, that dash is still considered a minute. So if you were to count all the dashes all the way around the clock, there would be 60 dashes because there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? Can you see all those dashes? Now, what if the clock was right there and they wanted to know, hey, can you tell me how many minutes there are? What's the time? Well, the time is four hours and geez, how many minutes? Well, if we start here at the top, right? We could count each dash as a minute till we got all the way around to here, which would be a lot. Okay, that would be over 50 dashes. It would take us a long time to figure out what time it was, wouldn't it? If we had to count each dash every time. Well, they came up with a trick for us because even though each dash is one, the hour dash that comes out that's a little bigger, that tells us every fifth minute. Did you know that? So you go, start from here, and you go one, two, three, four, five. See, let's see if the next one's five more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See how every hour, see how every hour digit is the fifth minute, five more minutes. So if you can count by fives, then you could count faster and you could just count the big dashes instead of having to count each single small dash. Does that make sense? Let's count by fives all the way around and let's see if there really is 60, shall we? Okay, so we're gonna start at the top. We're gonna go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There is 60 all the way around, isn't there? Another way that you could confirm that there's 60 is you could count each one of the dashes and count all the way up, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 60. And you'd also know there was 60, but it's faster for us and quicker for us to tell time if we count by fives. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some minutes on the board and we're gonna use this minute hand and we're gonna count by fives and we're gonna see if we can put it on the right spot. Okay, can you help me? Okay guys, I have put four times on the clock. I didn't put the hour, I just put the minutes. And you're gonna help me. We're gonna see if we can find that minute on our round clock, okay? So we're just gonna leave the hour hand at the top at 12 because we're not gonna uh, do any hours. We're just doing minutes, okay? Now the first one, how many minutes does that say? It says 27, huh? So 27 minutes. All right, so we're gonna put our minute hand at the top. We need to find 27 minutes. Now again, we could count one, two, three, four. We could count like that until we get to 27. You can definitely do that. It just may take you a minute. But if you can count by fives, it makes it so much quicker, okay? So we're gonna use our a minute hand and we're gonna count by fives and go up. Here we go. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. We gotta get to 27. So we can't go to 30, that would be too much. So let's stop at 25 and now we'll count by ones. 26, 27. That's 27 minutes. Do you see how we did that? We counted by fives as high as we could and then we counted by run ones the rest of the way. Okay, let's try the next one. Let's move our minute hand back up to the top. And now we have 40 minutes, four zero, 40. Okay, so again, let's make it quicker by counting by fives. Are you ready? Okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40, there's 40 minutes. That was exactly counting by fives. We didn't have to count any ones, did we? Okay, so that shows 40 minutes. Okay, the next one, how many minutes does that show? Shows 10, so let's come back to the top. Let's go ahead and get 10 minutes on the clock, ready? 
going to count by fives again. Five and ten. That was fast, huh? There's ten minutes on the clock. Okay, let's put it back to the top and do our last one. Okay, how many minutes does this clock show? 52, huh? Okay, that's a big one. Woo, good thing we can count by fives. That would take us a minute if we had to just count by ones. All right, let's count by fives. We're going to go to 50, and then we'll have to do a couple of little ones, won't we? Okay, here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52. And there's 52. That's really high. It's almost to the top, isn't it? It's almost 60. There's 52 minutes. Okay, are you feeling comfortable with how to uh, tell the minutes on the clock? Okay, I'm going to put up four times, including the hour and the minutes, and we're going to see if we can display that time on our round clock, okay? Okay, guys, I have written four different times on the board on these digital clocks, okay? And it tells us the hour and the minutes, and you're going to help me. We're going to find that time and put it on our round clock, okay? You ready? Okay, what time does the first clock say? It tells us it's 8.13. Okay, and 8 is the hour and 13 is the minutes, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and take our hour hand, which is the small one, and put it on 8 because it's 8 hours. And now how many minutes do we need to show? We need to show 13. Okay, let's count by fives with our minute hand and get to 13. Ready? Five, ten, now we gotta do ones, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have the hour hand on the eight and our minute hand on thirteen minutes. Okay, can you see that? That's eight, thirteen. Okay, good job. Okay, let's put them back up to the top. Let's do a different one. What does the next time say? It says four, zero, zero. What does that mean? Well, that means it's straight up four o'clock. There's no minutes yet. It just turned four o'clock. So let's take our hour hand and let's turn it down to four. Okay, you see that? We're gonna put it right on the four. Now, what do we do with our minute hand? If it has no minutes, where does it go? Well, you just leave it pointing straight up. There's zero minutes. It hasn't started yet. This shows that it's four o'clock. Now, if, um, you see it like this on a different one, on a different hour, five o'clock. There's no minutes, there's no minutes yet. It hasn't gone from one or five or 20 or 40 minutes yet. The hour hasn't started. So when you see it straight up like this, that means it's o'clock, it's zero, zero. It's seven o'clock. Or that means it's 10 o'clock. Or if you had it on the one, that would be one o'clock. What if they were both pointing straight up? Well, the hour hand's on the 12, right? So that means it would be 12 o'clock, okay? There's just no minutes yet. The hour just started, okay? All right, let's do the third one. This says it's 11.29, 11.29. Okay, our hour's 11. So we're gonna take our hour hand, the short one, Go all the way around and put it on the 11, right? Okay, there we go. Our hour hand's on 11. Let's get up just a little bit more. There we go. Now our minutes is 29. Okay, let's count by fives and get to 29. Are you ready? Okay, count with me. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, we can't go any higher, we'll be too far, won't we? We gotta count by ones now. 26, 27, 28, 29. Oh, it's so close to 30, isn't it? But not yet, it's just one minute away. So it's 11, 29, okay? All right, good job. Let's do the last one. This one says it's 3.45. Okay, let's move these both up to the top so we can start at zero. 
The hour is three. So let's take our hour hand and put it on three. Okay, there we go. Now, how many minutes do we have? We have 45, 45 minutes. Whew, that's a high one again. So glad we don't have to count by ones. You ready to count by fives with me? Okay, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Look at that. They're straight across from each other, aren't they? Looks like a long arrow. Okay, so we made it to 45. So this is 345. Good job. Okay, so it's, it helps an awful lot to practice. If you have a round clock at home, ask your mom or dad to give you a time and then you try and find it on your clock so you can get really fast at telling time because you're gonna have to know how to tell time for the rest of your life. It's a really important math factor to know, okay? All right, well, I hope you guys had fun learning and practicing how to tell time with me. I'll see you guys next time on Math in a Hoodie.